quite often customers will give me a photo like this this is of course restored and usually it looks worse than this when I get it <laughs> but when I give them this they say hey I'd like to get a sepia tone now quite often what we think is a sepia tone is actually a faded or old <laughs> but uh, there were some genuine sepias made nevertheless how do you get that appearance there's many ways to do it as with everything in Photoshop one is called hue and saturations image adjust hue and saturation now this command will directly affect the background layer so I'm gonna do what's called a uh, adjustment layer for hue and saturation okay and we're gonna name it sepia weepia all right let's go to colorize with the hue you can actually change which part of the color spectrum is going to be seen okay I'm gonna start with a 40 and my saturation I'm gonna drop down to a 20 typically this is how you would see it now of course on screen is a little different sometimes when you print it out it's gonna look a lot different sometimes it's gonna look a little different so it's always good to do some test strips now if you do this adjustment layer you can always go black double click on that layer there and you'll get this back and you can change it to let's say 60 20 okay so there's before after before after or you could just leave the hue at zero and leave the saturation at 20 it looks kinda red but regardless as I move the slider you can see all these different hues going in and each one could be sepia depending on the person looking at it.